Well, I'm sure a lot of people will be finding things to do, maybe finding mm -hmm. some music out there in the streets this weekend, <laughs> if you can keep your cool as you're outside. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely going to depend on where you are, so what kind of weather you'll experience this weekend, because we are going to see temperatures ranging from 60s to over 100. Now, it's also going to be unhealthy for a lot of spots in the inland area, so we have our second, only second of the year, spare the air alert day, and it's it's going to be most unhealthy in the Inland East Bay. Now, if you're sensitive to a lot of the pollutants out there, you have asthma, or if you have any kind of breathing problem, limit your time outside. Santa Clara Valley will also have a high measure of particulate matter, making it unhealthy for sensitive groups. So we'll be watching out for that this weekend. Now, taking a look at our temperatures, we are starting to see the wind calming down, temperatures going up. Cupertino will hit a high of 88 degrees. Compare that to the 97 we'll see in Morgan Hill for today and for the East Bay Antioch reaching the triple digits with mostly 90s for the Tri-Valley and Inland East Bay but right there along the bay you've got just enough of a breeze to keep those temperatures in the upper 70s today we'll hit a high of 81 in Redwood City while Half Moon Bay will stay in the mid 60s San Francisco ranging from 63 in the Marina District to 72 downtown and in the North Bay it'll reach 82 in Mill Valley but 100 into in Ukiah today and still cool for the coastline. So we're going to see some temperatures heating up, but most likely not setting a new record with Livermore reaching a forecast high of 105 degrees tomorrow with the peak of the heat. The record is 107, so we'll be really close. Other areas, it's going to be hot, but definitely not looking like it's going to set a record high temperature. Where another area where we're watching Death Valley. Take a look at the forecast for the weekend. Ooh, that just looks painful. 129 degrees on Sunday and the hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. Death Valley is in uh, the 1913, uh, is in 1913, where it hit 134 degrees. So we're going to be close to that uh, hottest temperature ever measured uh, that's reliable source. Here's how we're trying to stay cool this weekend in the inland area. Stay hydrated. If you are outside, find some shade that could make it feel about 10 to 20 degrees cooler. And also don't forget the sunscreen. You don't want to deal with sunburn and the heat. Dress cool with lightweight, light colored clothing and a hat, of course, will help keep that sun off of your head and take care of the pets. Don't take them out walking while it's super hot outside and definitely keep those paws off of the hot asphalt for the weekend. And our temperatures in reaching into the triple digits from now through Sunday, but then on Monday, how about some mid 90s? Will that be a little bit better? OK, so we continue to make some progress by the middle of next week with mid 80s, but it's not going to be nearly as hot in San Francisco this go round. So we're going to be in the upper 70s for Saturday and uh, 74 on Sunday.